What is this thing? Oh, it's, oh this one has, a for, has fortune as well. Which, no, is not crazy because I have another whole fortune pick at home. I think, actually, it's an identical to this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What do we have here? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, crap. Go to the right tool. T Torches everywhere. Oh, name day! Yes! <laughs> Ooh, iron horse armor. See, I don't need that. Can I always use string? Another saddle. I think that means I have three saddles total now. I have wheat with me. I did not bring torches with me, but I brought wheat. Why did I bring wheat? <laughs> I don't want spider eyes. Those are the same disc. Uh, I can grow more of those. Oh, that was quite the find. I don't know if I'm even going to do anything with this either. Skeletons, good for farming. If you can find a bunch of blue spider spawners that are in a very small area, which is possible because of the way the mine shafts are generated. Uh, at one time on a multiplayer world with one of my friends, we fa managed to find three blue spider spawners all within the same chunk. Or, well, I don't know if they were the s technically the same chunk, but you know, within that small of an area. In fact, it was you know smaller area than that, even. Oh, we're coming up under... I, could... I, don't, I don't remember any deserts. Oh, are we underwater? Yep. Probably. Or not. What? What is this? What biome has sand and s snow? Beach. It's a beach. That explains that. This experience. What is that sitting there? Nope. There we go. Anyway, yeah. Um, since we found all these spiders in a very small space, we carved out a big old open box for them. A bunch of water flowing. All come down to the center point where we had a piston that suffocated them, and then we just punched him to death. And that was a very efficient experience farm. Though obviously, like, something involving Enderman in the end is pretty much the best experience farm you can get. I think, uh... Is it, is it Etho? With his massive Enderman farm. Anyway, all right. So where's the sun? Sees that? That's a sunset over there. Which means home is that way. So I'm going to make a big old noob tower. No. Home's got to be that way. What? No. Is that a sunrise or a sunset? It's technically storming. I feel like that's got to be home over that wa across that water, right? I can't make that jump. <laughs> I built too high. Doot. 
Did you hear it? Oh. So the snow doesn't hurt you, huh? Gotcha. That is disturbing. I've got like a uh, surround going on here. That the Enderman's noise does not come from him. It just comes from whatever direction it feels like. And it moves. <laughs> it's really weird. Don't know if anyone else has noticed that, but uh, I don't know if that's a bug or just intended because it's super creepy and it doesn't stop after it dies. That is weird. That is scary. Uh... I hope this video is not going too long. <laughs> or I'm going to fill up my hard drive. I th I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the correct direction. That must have been a sunrise. Because it's not getting darker. How much wood do I have? I need more wood. Yeah, this is totally... Don't need snow. What is that? Why is there? <laughs> ah, there it is. Like, what on earth was that leaf? See, now it is a good thing I built this crafting table. Thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. See, I knew exactly what I was doing all along. But you don't believe me? I wouldn't lie. Ah, t t t no! <laughs> but... Ah! Okay, maybe I'm not as close to that shore as I thought I was. I think this should be clear. Yeah, you know I'm just going to I'm going to pause the recording for a moment to reset the chunks. There we go. Chunks loaded up. So yes, this is the correct way. And I I am going to investigate. Oh, 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 oh. This I've got to show off. I don't know what causes this. It's like some kind of bug. But check this out. It's really difficult to see. I might enhance this video in post. It's a little easier without the GUI. But do you see these dark, dark spaces? Guess what those are? Air pockets. Look at that. <laughs> it's just an air pocket. Isn't that cool? I, I, I don't know how it is that the world is spawning like that. What's up with the chunk generation? I mean, it's obviously some kind of bug. I don't know if it's even necessarily a bug that needs taken out, though. It's kind of cool. It's like, ah! Blow air pocket. The, look, look at the way the... The... the like, the box renders... With those white lines, and it's all dark in here. It's super weird. Oh, look, there's more of them. I thought there was just these two. Look at that. Whole bunch of them. Pfft, that's so weird. Okay, enough of that. Yeah. Uh, I first encountered those, uh, I guess a couple of, there we go, a couple of weeks ago. They, not those particular, they were way, way 
off to the north, actually. Because we're, we're south of the base right now. And I was way to the north. And I took a bunch of screenshots, and I was thinking, I should post, uh, you know, I should post, like, something on the forum about this, and I realized, eh, people are just going to think I MC edited it. And I thought, oh, I could give them the seed and everything. And then I'm like, ah, I don't want to give them the seed to my world. My world. But now I have video, video evidence. No one can possibly contradict me. All right, this, this is the right direction, right? Do, 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 do. Ah. I think that's land. That is land. Hooray, home. I hate the rain. Constantly raining. Let's go around this direction. Actually. Let's see, I think. Man, there are so many squid out here. So you're trying to find the bit of the shoreline that's closest to the base. Yeah, probably right here is fine. Boop. Destroy my raft. Well, that expedition was partially profitable and partially not so great. I succeeded in finding the stronghold and a zombie spawner, which is interesting. But I lost most of my Eyes of Ender with only getting and only gained one Ender Pearl. And I lost my horse. Tisk tisk. Uh, I have two more though, so I can keep breeding them. I, why am I going that way? Got to swim across. Yeah, okay. I keep thinking about building like a bridge across the river in a couple places. But isn't kind of half the point of a moat that it keeps the monsters out? And a bridge. I could do like a redstone thing, right? Where it like lifts it up with pistons. That's what a friend of mine suggested, but I don't know about that. Hurrah, back home. Ooh, and I, I cleared away all the acacia. And I cleared away all the other trees I was growing. And here I have my god's wood. Uh, not really a weirwood tree here, but uh, Minecraft doesn't have those. <laughs> What's kind of funny is these leaves are not acacia leaves, but those are. <laughs> As you can see, I built the trees. <laughs> little sort of pond around the tree. I don't know, I thought it looked cool. A couple of random blocks, just to make it look a little more natural. And then I replaced... These are the carrots. I replaced half of my wheat farm with carrots. And speaking of wheat, I happen to have a wheat. Hi guys, how you doing? Do do do. Do do do. Farm you, you. Farm all of you. Uh oh, I opened the fence. Come on over here, guys. I have wheat. Go out. <laughs> and I also have this little farm thing in here. You press the button. The water pushes the cows up. And you can give them wheat. And they just keep bouncing so you can get to all of them. And 
and then you can shut it off click this which lights the adults on fire but the babies are all perfectly safe and I have steak hey no I did not invent this uh, I saw a YouTube video about it it's rather simple this button controls the water from here and then there's a pair of hoppers pointing into each other and now I can't get out of here can I ah crud 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 I just oh oh that's cool <laughs> bit of a problem da, da, da. Get rid of this crap. There. Problem is, if you break these slabs on top, they fall into the hoppers and screw it up. So, crud. Um, no, no, where'd it go? There. Okay. No, I don't want the sticks to go. <sighs> I'm having a wonderful time here, as you can see. Okay, I want the... Let's do it in here. Do I? Doesn't it need to go... I'm going to have to... Scoop of the lava. Just trying to explain things and I dumped lava everywhere. Luckily, because there is a trapdoor on top of that hopper, it does not fall down and kill everything. And I just picked up all this crap. Oh, and my hand is falling asleep. Wonderful. Oh, just wonderful. All right. Anyway, so these two hoppers point directly into each other. So if you put item in them they want to keep passing it back and forth back and forth back and forth but right behind this block with the button is a torch which of course forces this hopper to be off so when the item gets stuck inside of it it won't go into there until you press the button and then it goes into this one which powers that comparator and then back into here and then before the pulse from the button is over, it gets back into there one more time, which pulses this to retrieve the lava. And then this puts the item back into here and it gets stuck there because by that point, the signal from the button has cut off. So, I, I don't know. The one problem is every time you kill off all your adults, you... You have to breed them a couple of times between the killings. It's not exactly the most efficient, I think, system. Uh, neither is a giant pen of them outside, probably, either. I don't know. I don't know. I don't need that. Yeah, or actually, well, why aren't these... Oh, wait, let me put these back. These are just to make it look nice. <laughs> And that is to keep me from falling in, which I've done, and then that's annoying. And if, if you try to replicate this, hint, breed some cows, get the babies in there. It's really easy to drop baby down into that hole. It's really difficult to get adult cows in and then glass them in like this. But babies, super easy. Uh, let's, uh, if I can, if I can find the video I copied this from, I will link it in the description because it has a full tutorial on building and everything. Wonderful. So that's that, that business. And I guess, oh, check out the map. I have expanded it. It used to be just this four in the middle. And now I've, I've added a whole row around. These are all the one-to-one -one maps, so I've got a one-to-one -one representation of my castle here. I think I think when I build the more levels, I'm gonna 
I'm going to have one level where the map is on that wall, the north wall, because then it, it, it's oriented right. Because up on the map is north, but that direction is north. So it's, it's a little wonky, because these mountains here are over there to the east. And this, this tower is at the northeast corner of the castle. Anyway. And if you, if you, if you look, see if I, if, I, if I get the camera just right. You can see there's glowstone behind the center map. So this thing glows really, really bright. I feel like, I feel like it's not as bright looking right now. Oh, it's because I'm using a different monitor. Never mind. It's the same, I swear. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's all there is. I went out, did the thing, and came back, take a nap. And you guys have fun.